What's up guys, Houndish here, and today we are jumping in with some Destiny 2 news. And this comes in the form of the trailer for the Guardian Games event coming to Destiny 2. And so we get a look at some of the gear, a little bit of information about some of the stuff that we'll be doing inside of the event. Also, we get a look at the heir apparent exotic machine gun, described as a heavy machine gun right there. It looks like some of the loot could be pretty interesting for this event as well. And so guys, we're going to jump in and talk about it all in this video, as well as some additional news bits to round up. So, as always, I hope you guys enjoy this one, and if you do, a rating below very much helps me out. But now, let's get into it. So, as always, when we get a full new trailer, I definitely think it's one worth checking out in full first. Welcome to the Guardian Games. These games are Zavala's way of bringing us all together to celebrate. And enjoy the games, my friend. You deserve it. And so that's a pretty cool trailer right there. Guardian Games seems to have its own unique soundtrack. And also we can see that the tower is very, very highly decorated for the event. And there is this focus of the class colors being there on the map. And obviously we have the multiple different class banners. We get a cheeky little introduction for all of the classes there. Also, inside of the trailer, some of the gear, the armor looks very, very cool. And we can see that the characters are wearing these class items with multiple different other sets of gear. So I do wonder with how ornate they are, whether they could potentially be exotic class items or turned exotic or something during the event, because there's definitely a focus there. All three of the class items looking pretty cool. But here for the first time, we see the air apparent exotic HMG. So I'm guessing that's going to be classified as a HMG specifically. Looking pretty cool in the game. And it actually looks pretty stable right there with a solid rate of fire. It's going to be interesting to try that one out. And that bonus, once again, is Heavy Slug Thrower, used to spin up, and the weapon can be fired only when fully spun up. And that pairs with Armor of the Colossus on the weapon, while at full health, spinning up this weapon protects you with an arc shield. And we can kind of see that arc effect around the character's screen there, so it'd be interesting to try that one out. But Warlocks, Titans, and Hunters, who will win? Obviously, this is a class competition. And we can see that there are some emotes right there with various scores on. Not sure if they will kind of work in real time. And so as it says at the end of the trailer, Guardian Games will run from April 21st to May the 12th. Now additionally, there is a Guardian Games article and that does have an additional guide article which isn't currently available, but it says that this is a free event for all Destiny 2 players. The inaugural Guardian Games is upon us and there are only three weeks to prove that your class reigns supreme and with a permanent reminder of which class wins being added to the tower for the rest of the year, the stakes have never been higher. The scoreboard is up and the clock is running. You know who deserves to take home the gold, now show everyone else. And so as they say, a permanent reminder of the winner will actually be on display in the tower for an entire year after the event runs, which is pretty cool. But it says classy competition. Meet with Eva and Zavala to test your skills in a series of daily class challenges. Every point you earn matters if you want to bury the other classes on the tower's scoreboard, rise to the top, and flaunt your score to add an extra stinger to your trash-talking zinger. Keep it classy, Guardians. So as it says, daily challenges is going to be kind of the focus of the event. And yes, there will probably be an element that's kind of similar to earning XP. And then obviously the class that gets the best score throughout the event will be on display. But ultimately, there will be one specific winner. And yes, a lot of folks say the hunters are probably going to take this one. It certainly seems entirely possible. But then air apparent once again, you'll fall into second place as you reach for the last trick in your arsenal. The low hum assures you that you've pulled the trigger. It begins to spin slowly for a moment. And then, in an instant, blindingly fast, the roar of air apparent rises above the crowd, the tide turns, and the glory of your class is secured. And so not sure specifically how this one will be obtained, but it probably will work alongside that general scoring mechanic that seems to be a thing for the event. But then naturally, there are going to be Eververse items, and they show a new sparrow here. And there will be both bright dust and silver items featured during the event. But also they say complete the weekly on your laurels quest and unlock an exclusive Bungie Rewards Guardian Games box. And so that will be an element for the event as well, which is pretty interesting. But here they leave us with some screenshots. So once again, we have all of the class items, man. And I do kind of wonder if there's potential for an exotic class item, especially with them leveling up with different colors there. Definitely looking forward to find out. 
Right here, though, we see the specific Guardian Games exclusive armor, all the ornaments that we'll be able to unlock. They're definitely a little bit different. Additionally, though, we know already that there will be kind of class exotic ghost shells, so we can see each one here. And otherwise, we see the tower decorated and looking pretty cool. So guys, be sure to give us your thoughts on what we've seen of Guardian Games so far. It certainly should be an interesting event, and that will drop alongside the April update once again on April 21st, which is next Tuesday's reset. And so stay tuned here on the channel for updates about that. But now looking to some additional updates and feedback, DMG said, setting this week at Bungie expectations. We'll have a timeline for incoming maintenance, a list of bug fixes, and a preview for the upcoming seasonal event. And of course we've had those, but he said, we're still working on plans for various feedback items that you've had. And that would loosely include a lot of discussion about trials and also seasonal content, as well as the general state of the game. So DMG said some have short-term mitigation strategies being proposed, where others require long-term systematic changes. We have a meeting to go over a few topics, but more conversations need to take place before we can commit to specific plans. You may be asking why it takes a bit of time to commit to change, and firstly, he lists sustainability. And the question is, is the plan something that we can support in the near term, but also over the course of a year of Destiny? But secondly, impact, and that includes what items in development could handle a shift of resources. Thirdly, the solve, does the plan address the issues at hand, or will a proposal only address a portion of the problem space? And finally, the unknowns, which includes what other issues could arise from the problem that will then need to be prioritized. They said that it's a tricky dance, we want to get things right. So once again, Bungie are taking the opportunity to try and respond loosely to some of the feedback that's being given. But of course, they're more generally responding to frustration about how Bungie actually handle these kind of issues and their plan moving forward. But I would say once again, that based on what community managers have been saying, it certainly appears like at some point in the future there could be kind of dedicated discussions about the future of the game and how it's going to evolve. More than likely later on this year, around the time that we get any fall expansions or whenever that next major update actually ends up happening. On the subject of people cheating insider trials and folks sharing clips, but also getting frustrated at community managers, DMG does say that when it comes to moderating forums, including Bungie's LFG, that they're not going to ask volunteer forum mods to watch the forum 24-7 or over the weekend and holidays. Accounts that spam adverts for cheats, related carries and things like that will be banned, according to DMG, but it just takes time. He also says that they have improvements to make, especially when preventing spam on LFG and improving the general anti-cheat in the game. But once again, there is a limit on how much moderation can actually be done, especially when it's volunteer moderators on the forums and stuff like that. Now, folks have been asking about the Guardian's heart emblem and when those are actually going to be distributed, or more specifically, the codes for them. And if you have made a donation of more than $20, then codes are rolling out at the moment, but for any players who are still waiting for them, but you have said a few times that it can take anything up to a week, so certainly bear that in mind. But also, Scott at Bungie did point out that when codes are rolling out, be sure to check spam folders in emails, as there is that minor possibility that large batches of similar looking emails mean that providers basically flag them as spam. So if you are waiting on that, definitely keep your eye on it. But for today, guys, that is the news that we have to round up. So Guardian Games is certainly going to be an interesting one. We also know that that April update next week potentially holds a few items for upcoming quests and secrets that we'll get later on this season, some of which we have covered here on the channel. So if you want to look into any of that secretive upcoming content, I'll link my most recent video on it down below. But if you've enjoyed this video, guys, a rating really helps me out. Also, be sure to get subscribed so I can keep you posted on that new game update next week. But be sure to give us your thoughts on any of the updates as well, whether you'll be jumping into the new event or the Nightfall or deals. But for now, guys, thanks as always for tuning in, and I hope you have an awesome day.